with your foot technique. Um, usually people just get on and they just start playing in that, but there's so much more to the feet. It's not just putting your foot on the pedal and hitting it. It depends what you want to produce. For louder strokes, I like to have it, you know, more like that. I'll use the toe up and then you can just dig in because you can dr just drop the whole leg. There's a lot of weight there. So right away, your body is working towards having a louder stroke. It makes it easier for you. If I'm doing quieter strokes, I find it easier just to do flat foot because then I don't have to control and hold that extra weight of the leg. If I have a, a bass drum tuned in a way where there's more resonance and I like more of a warmer sound, what I'll do is I actually play my foot a little bit further back so when I strike it, the spring will pull the beater off the head. It's kind of like when you're hitting a, a tom, if you just bury the stick, it chokes it. So when you bury the beater, it'll choke the bass drum as well. So when I play, sometimes I like to play back here, which allows the bass drum to resonate a bit more. Now with the hi-hat foot, you want to make sure that your toe is up to the top there. Because if you're back here more, you're going to have to work harder on your shin to achieve the same type of tightness on the hat. So if you go up, up here, it'll be easier for you to achieve that because you're at the pivot point of the, the pedal here, the hinge. And also there's a technique called a splash where you'd want to hit the hi-hat foot with your heel and it'll make the cymbals splash together. So you just want to be in the position that's going to be most flexible for you so you can achieve different sounds and uh, different timbres, different dynamics and stuff.